Oh gosh, Shinobi EV here back again with another video for you guys now. Uh, for those of you guys who are wondering why I'm not using my VTuber model here, it's because I'm on my phone. But we're gonna be doing a review of Soda Online Variant Showdown. How am I like how am I enjoying it so far? Like my thoughts and you know my feelings towards the game and everything like that. How am I enjoying the gameplay? Now, first thing I want to talk about is the art in this game. Let's talk about that first before we do anything. Uh, because I'm enjoying the art for this game a lot. Now, I'm a big art person, and the art in this game, especially for these characters, is a lot. So, let's go ahead to this event that's going on. I'm Team Alice, for those of you guys who are wondering. Now, let's, let me show you this art that we got for these characters here, because it's going crazy right now. It is going crazy right now, for real. So, let's, let me show you some of this art. A little bit of this. We got Silica to 65 just recently, and this is basically all we got. Let me see if you'll full screen it. I don't think it's gonna full screen it, will it? I won't full screen, but you know, you see this. What you see this art going on right here, looking clean. My favorite so far that I've maxed out um, is my UGO that I pulled recently, who looks amazing, I might wanna add. Man, looks clean as hell. Look at that, looking nice, and there's the regular and that's him. So art wise, game looking clean, in fact honestly the game in general is just clean and good. Like, look at all these characters, even like the SR characters, their outfits look so nice, so nice. Me personally, my favorite ones I've seen so far have been Alice's new outfit that she has and Sinon. I like the new outfits that they got, but either way. Other than that, I'm enjoying gameplay, and I'm also enjoying the story. I know a lot of people don't really care about story for these mobile games sometimes, but I like their new story. And just a long story short, for those of you guys who are wondering what story is, basically, um, the new character in the game actually has a brother who created the game. She helped support him with it. You know, they ended up being the admins. The game started popping off, so a company came along called Epsilon and kind of helped them get the game to be mainstream, but at the same time, you know, sooner than later, they basically took over the game, and then that kind of creates the basis for the story that's going on. And on top of that, Foe is apparently still alive, even though we saw him get turned into a tree in Alicization. So, I don't know. It's it's pretty interesting. I enjoy the gameplay a lot. And when it comes to this event, because I'm Team Asuna, I mean Team Alice right now, uh, we're cooking right now. We are cooking hard. And the basic strategy for this event, in general, basic strategy for this event is to dodge and shoot that is the, that is the strategy and you got to time it you got to time it really well take out the first one really fast take out the second one really fast and then go on from there and you're going to see that here but me personally gameplay wise i'm enjoying it there's not a lot of quality of life stuff in the game yet i really hope they do add that in but for the time being it's not bad it's not bad i will say with bandai namco games though when it comes to the in-game currency i would say you might want to actually um you know save up on that currency first because um we don't have a pity system yet as of yet we don't have a pity system and i just absolutely screwed up so that's i guess that's what we're doing here <laughs> i did not mean to do that we absolutely screwed that up okay here we go here we go here we go dodge that dodge that switch both of those guys in boom and clean that was not my cleanest run by far uh, that was not it but you know it got the job done it got the job done. Now, my cleanest run is 22 seconds, so that's probably going to be like a good 25. Because I screwed up with, at the end. I wasn't supposed to be doing that one thing in the beginning. I wasn't supposed to be dodging side, which I was supposed to be going for. 25, then 26. But either way, like the gameplay, it really devolves around dodging, having perfect dodges. There's a lot of different elements in the game, different characters. It's still a pretty new game, though. And they're just adding characters every week, so that's another thing you gotta watch out for is Bandai Namco, they like to add a lot of characters in their game. Like weekly characters in their game every single time, so you gotta watch out for that. Just summon for who you think you should want, but at the same time there's premium characters that you wanna go for especially. Like the progressive Asuna who's really, really good. So characters like Sinon or characters like, you know, Alice, Kirito, Lisbeth. They will be on the banner regardless, but the Progressive Sinon is definitely one you'll want to get if you can. Uh, we're probably going to have some Christmas units coming out as well. I don't know if I'm going to be having enough to save for them because, you know, the rates in this game are pretty bad. It's like 2%, but at the same time, um, it's 2% on both the single pulls and the regular pulls. So it's not like they have it worse. Um, I actually pulled an Alice card recently from Alpha here, so... 
No, it's not the worst. It could be worse than that, but it could be like Dragon Ball Legends where you're just not getting anything. Ooh, look at that perfect dodge. That was the cleanest dodge of the day right there. Nice. Like, look at that. This is basically like the situation you want to have here where it takes a while for them to spawn in. Dodge all of that and then just shoot them down. Just one tap on them. That, that's basically a wrap right there. That dodge, though. I love that animation when you're able to get a perfect dodge right there. Love it. It's so good. And that's basically how you do the event here. That SR Xenon or the other one, actually. The other one might be better. It's not only does it have more range, but it, it's just really good overall. Either way, I'm loving it. But other than that, as far as my progress in the game, I am done with the story mode on easy, and I'm doing hard mode currently. And just a tip for this event, since it does take a lot of your stamina, my advice to you, especially if you're saving your currency, if you're saving your in-game currency, my advice to you is when you start getting low to, like, for instance, in my case, my stamina is at 79. Once you get around 70, for me, what you would want to do is you'd want to reset your stamina again to where you get double that and it goes back up. And on top of that, if you're close to leveling up, like I probably am right now, then what will end up happening is your stamina will also reset and then you'll be able to get more stamina. And every time it gets low, you have to use gems sometimes to recover it. Go back into story mode, grind some more gems out, reset, and just keep it going. That's kind of what I've been doing. And on top of that, another thing you want to make sure you're doing here is with whatever characters you're going to grind with, use these cards like they gave us the christmas asana christmas alice they also give you this cure too who's really really good if you switch you actually regain 10 hp for doing that and on top of that they also give you a bonus and there's also the asana and if you have both the progressive asana you have Leafa or silica or even the new yuki and you know asana right there you get a really high bonus there that's why i told you to use those cards because they give you a 10 percent bonus 20 percent bonus 20 percent bonus so as of right now i don't know what bonus i'm getting but if it does stack i don't know if it stacks i'm getting like 20 40 like 20 40 60 80 100 like i'm getting like maybe at 120 percent up every single time i beat this event so it's not bad if I do say so myself, it's really not bad. Other than that, hope this Bandai doesn't get money hungry with this game, because the one thing that really killed the last game that they had, which was, you know, Unleashed Blading, was after the first anniversary, they stopped giving out Diamond Cubes as much. And they started putting out more and more packs that you have to buy in order to get stuff. So that's kind of what killed the game. I hope they don't do that with this game. I hope they actually, you know, invest in their free-to-play players, because the free-to-play players are what's going to keep this game alive, first and foremost. Like, of course, spending money is nice, but free-to-play players is what's going to keep this game alive. And, you know, they're going to need them for that. So I really hope they get them get greedy. And just look at that dodge, man. Oh my gosh, it's so clean. So clean. Boom, dodge. Oh, I could have got two out of that. Boom, dodge that. Hit. Like, it's so nice. I love the game, like, how it's like this. It reminds me a little bit of Memory d a little bit. How did they hit me from all the way over? That is the range. The swords don't even go that far. That's the crazy part. The one thing I'm not liking is that pillar. Try to stay away from the pillars, because the pillars sometimes just block your shot, and I don't like that. I've had so many runs and that stuff because of that, like this one. That probably, that probably could have been a faster run, but... Back to what, the whole thing with Bandai. I really hope they don't get money hungry with this game, because... Um, that's gonna kill the game if they do. Like, they end up releasing up a lot of packs or anything like that. The only thing they got so far is the battle pass, you know, the usual stuff you can buy in the game. But I really hope they don't do a bunch of packs and stuff like that and then just stop giving us the gems. Me personally, I'm gonna be staying strictly free to play for the most part until I have a reason to maybe invest into a little bit of this game, which is where you guys will come in. If you like the content so far, then, you know, leave a like on the video and everything like that. And, um,. Comment down below whose team you're on, Austin or Alice. I got Alice right now. In fact, last I checked on Twitter, Alice was actually in the lead. So hopefully we can keep it that way because I want this Alice so bad. I really want her. I really want her so much. In fact, me personally, I actually, and this might sound crazy, I put Alice over Austin. And the reason I do that is because she was a fresh, brand new character that we got in Sword Online War of Wonder World. And like, I just love the trio of Yu-Gi-Oh, Alice, and Christian Heroes. I just love it so much. Alice Edition for me was my one of my favorite arcs, if not my favorite arcs in SAO after um, the original, of course. Oh, I'm screwing up. I'm screwing up. Ooh, give me another dodge. 
Got both of those. And this will clean up. A little bit late here, but we should still be able to get a pretty good clear. I thought I could hit him with that. But I, I like this, though. Like the gameplay, reminds me a lot of memory defrag. You know, like the story, skins wise, everything like that. And I like how there's not a lot that you have to do or put on yours. Like, it's not like we have the character you have to level up and then the weapon and then the cards. It's just the character and card, and that's it. So, there's not a lot that you gotta do there as well. So, I'm enjoying it a lot. And on top of that, leveling up is pretty easy in this game. I've only played the game for like a week. Because I was late to playing, and I'm already level 40, but at the same time, I've been going pretty hard. So, not too bad if I do say so myself. But overall, in conclusion, I think I'd have to say this game has a lot of potential. That's what I'd say right now. The game doesn't have a lot of content right now. They just released a new Sinon, a, a new Asuna, and they also released a new Yuki. I'm not going to summon for those, and like I said earlier, Bandai likes to release characters weekly, so you got to be prepared for that. Save your gems for characters that you know won't be coming left, like the limited banner ones, like for instance, a progressive Asuna. But other than that, you personally also summon for who you want because, you know, it all comes down to player enjoyment at the end of the day. And, you know, I like it. I like it so far. It's a pretty decent game. I'm liking it. You know, they have a lot of events. I got hit there somehow. Wow. And overall, even the SR characters, as you can see here, are pretty good in these events. So it's not like all the characters are bad. Nice. That was a clean strike right there. That's what I would normally do. Snipe, snipe, and then I'd hit him with a uh, close-up attack if they jump on me. That might actually be a pretty clean run right there. We'll see here. Ooh, close. 23 seconds, actually. Close. Close right there. I did get hit, so it kind of slowed me down, but... Overall, I'm... You know, game's pretty decent. They do probably are gonna have some Christmas units coming up, so that's what I'm saving for. In fact, actually, you got some art. Which I'm going to show on screen right now. They got some art that they had on Reddit that somebody data mined. And it looks amazing. Especially Kirito and Sinon. Like if you don't know this already. Like Sinon's best girl for me. So you know, if they had a Sinon version of this event. You already know I'd be in here. And just based off of what we did right there. The ranking. I actually went up to 281. Not bad. Not too bad if I have to say so myself. But either, you know, other than that. I think that's pretty much going to be it for me. You know story's pretty decent. I like how they're giving away a lot of stuff for free to play players. Um, you know, there is the battle pass, which is 15. The battle pass goes up to 15. The only problem that I have with it, in my opinion, is the fact that it only goes up to 15. And in order for me to get this Yu-Gi-Oh, I'd have to pay $11 to get it. I might do so, just for the hell of it, even though I said I'll stay free to play. I might do it, because they do give you, like, what, 400, 800, 1,200 gems right there, which, I mean... I don't know, it probably ain't worth it for being real, considering that's not even a full summon in this game. A full summon is like 1,500. So well, I might wait on this. But other than that, um, game's fun. You know, I've gotten a lot of achievements. If you, you know, see me in the game, if you're going for Team Alice, and then, you know, keep up the good... I mean, team, see, uh, team Alice. If you're going for Team Alice, you know, keep up the good work. Keep up the grind, you know, get as many points as possible. We still got, like, six days left. Or was that, nine days? Nine days, but we still got nine days left, so just keep up the grind. And like I said earlier, the strat is basically go down to your stamina, and after that, reset it if you have any gems, so you want to make sure you always have these. Go to your story mode, start clearing it if you have some left to do, and then after that, you know, um, go from there. Just keep repeating that over and over. But other than that, that's pretty much going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and this is going to be Shinobi Eevee signing off. I'll see you guys in the event. Hope you guys enjoy, and good luck on the pulls. I'm not going to lie, because pulls so far have been pretty good for me. Good luck on the pulls, but... Well, without further ado, I think that's going to be it, and I'm out of here. Peace.